On the plain of Ikoria, the world of humans and monsters is divided, locked in a struggle for survival. Groups of humans defend their settlements and strike out against the monsters, while the creatures hunt those who venture into their territory for food and dominance in their respective triome. But amongst the fighting, a lone hunter and a young dinosaur form a forbidden friendship. Sadly, their friendship isn't meant to be, as the hunter's comrades use a capture sphere to ensnare the young dino. But despite the odds and stigma around the creatures of Ikoria, the hunter rescues his new friend, forsaking the safety of his home and allies, choosing his new partner, and embracing in a cathartic reunion. This is one of the most touching stories Wizards has made for a new plane, and... What? What do you mean this isn't the main storyline of Ikoria? But it's so heartwarming! Let me take a look at those cards. Wait. Who's Luca? Aza what? Greetings and salutations, Planeswalkers of the Multiverse. It's Bones with the first Children of Alara lore video about the new plane of Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths. Quick disclaimer, I have not read the Ikoria novel, The Sundered Bond, so this video is based purely on the cards and the story blurbs on the mothership. So if you have read the book and are confused about the plot I go over here, that's probably why. I've heard whisperings that the two plots are fairly divergent. Now that that's out of the way, let's begin starting with one of our returning planeswalkers, Vivian Monster's Advocate. Vivian heard about the behemoths that made Ikoria their home, and she came to investigate, both to learn about the flora and fauna of this new plane dominated by gigantic life forms, but also to hopefully add more creatures to her arc bow, a powerful artifact she wields from her home plane of Scala that can hold the spirits of creatures she's come in contact with. While Vivian explores the vast ecosystems of Ikoria, Luca, Coppercoat Outcast, serves the city of Dranith. Dranith is the largest human stronghold on the plane of Ikoria. A city of stone walls, long drawbridges, and tall spires built around a gigantic crystal. Nestled in the Savai Trium of Ikoria means the Copper Coats, the military of Dranith, often fight against large flying cat beasts and the apex of this trium, Snapdax. But more on them later. Luca's goal is to prove he is a powerful fighter and rise through the ranks of the Coppercoats and impress General Kudro of Dranith. General Kudro leads the Coppercoats against the monsters that besiege Dranith. He is willing to do anything and everything to slay every monster and protect the humans seeking refuge behind Dranith's walls. So remember when I said that there were flying cat monsters that would attack the city? Well, one day, when Luca was on patrol, a Pategia tiger, a large bat-winged tiger, flew by Dranith. But instead of striking down the beast, as is Luca's job, he instead felt a connection to the flying cat, noticing a beauty in its ferocity. A tentative connection began to form between the tiger and Luca, as their souls formed a mystical connection called an Aluda. This signaled that Luca is a bonder, a human that can form a connection with the monsters on Ikoria, granting you a lifelong companion, but marking you as a traitor in the eyes of Dranith. With one of his copper coats turned bonder, General Kudro issued a sanctuary lockdown to hunt down the traitor Luca, worried that with his knowledge of Dranith's defenses, he would turn against them and aid his new feline companion, even though he was a stalwart defender of the city. So, the hunt was on. Luca is chased out of the city and into the wild by his once comrades. But as the hunters closed in, 
Vivian reemerges into the story to thwart the enemy pursuing Luca and the tiger. Driving the soldiers back to Dranith, Vivian begins to teach Luca how to better commune with the tiger and the natural world around him. Soon, Luca and the tiger can go for blood as they become two halves of a fearsome fighting whole. As the party continues through the wilds of Ikoria, Vivian and Luca notice the monsters around them mutating and evolving at a rapid rate. Tracking the source of the mutation lead the pair to the Ozolith, a massive crystal radiating with energy that calls out to Luca. Utilizing the power of the Ozolith, Luca learns he can bond with the mutated creatures, and with this new knowledge, he plans to weaponize the monsters as a fighting force for Dranith and win back the favor of General Kudro. Seeing that Luca wants to use the creatures as weapons, Vivian leaves, wanting no part in Luca's plan. Luca and his pack of mutated monsters soon return to Dranith, but General Kudro wants no part of Luca's plan either, and issues a heartless act to cement his stance against the beasts and against Luca. Now faced with this ruinous ultimatum, Luca decides that the only way to protect Dranith is to seize power from Kudro and take the role of general for himself. As the battle rages and Luca and his monsters begin to overrun the Copper Coats, Vivian returns to lead the stampede of monsters and bonders against Luca, believing that using the creatures as weapons is cruel and goes against all that it means to be a bonder. Besieged on both sides by Copper Coats and bonders, Luca pushes the army of monsters and the power of the Ozolith to its literal breaking point. The crystal shatters and releases an unpredictable cyclone of mana. The magic overtakes Luca and his planeswalker spark ignites, and he's whisked away to an unknown plane. And with that, the tale of humans and monsters, bonders and copper coats, comes to a cliffhanger ending. I hope you enjoyed this look into the Ikoria Lair of Behemoth story as told by the cards with which we play. If you did, please let me know in the ether down below. You can also join our gatewatch by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Also ringing that temple bell will let you know whenever a new video like this gets posted. And if you're looking for any other ways to support the channel, feel free to check out our Patreon as well. Well. That's that. I've been Bones with Children of Alara, and I'll see you at the beginning of your end step.